Hello everybody, I'm Elijah Keller from EMP, and I'm going to be showing you real quick like how to make the audio spectrum in Adobe After Effects. It's really quite simple. This might be a pretty long video, but I'm just going to be showing you every detail that you might need to make, uh, you know, the video that you want. So, first thing you want to do, alright? You want to find the song that you're going to use in your video, right? So I'm going to be using When It Pops, which is our most recent upload. Then we go to Properties, Details, and then find the length of the song. Obviously, you can just open the song up itself and then just see how long it is there, but I usually just go to the Properties. So this song is 3 minutes and 16 seconds. So when you go back to Adobe After Effects and then do New, new Composition. So, since it's the most recent upload, it's already set at 316, uh, but you just want to put in the duration of the song right here where it says duration, and press OK. You don't need to do anything else with that. And then, you got your template, basically. So, the reason you want to do that with the time is so that the video itself is the same length as the song, so you're not getting too much video or too less, you know, song. So, that's the first thing you want to do. I see one. Do you want to find a background? Uh, so I'm just gonna open up my little, my pictures here. Ignore some of these strange ones, and we're gonna use this one of the Grand Canyon. Just drag it in, and then bring it down to your composition. And then there we go. This picture is already pretty big, so I'm not gonna crop it or anything. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Looks pretty good, right? So next thing you want to do, go up to the layer. Actually, I'm going to click on that, and then go up to Layer, New, Solid, then press OK. So all you have to do is that. And then while selected on that, go up to Effect, Generate, Audio Spectrum. Boom! Audio Spectrum is already on the composition, two minutes in. Pretty simple. So, I usually make mine near the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and drag it down with the uh, tool up here selection tool and then what you want to do after that is bring in your song put it in there drop it down and then go up you want to click on your visualizer go back up and where it says audio layer you want to select whatever song it is so our our song is called when it pops so I want to select when it pops and you can already see how it, it recognizes the song and it's already doing the spectrum thing. So, yeah, it's basically all you have to do. Now, from now on, it's just customization stuff. So, you want to go, first thing you probably want to do is go down here where it says side options. And as the vault is on side A and B, which means it's going to go down and up. I usually do only side A, which means it only goes up. Let me zoom in here. So you can see this is kind of the line right here. It only goes up rather than when it is on both sides. You can see the difference. And I just like having it on one side because it just looks cleaner and less random. So you want to go back up. And the start frequency and end frequency can be tricky. It all kind of depends on what the song is. If it's really bass heavy, you kind of want to stick it near the lower numbers uh, because it'll really make a nice little curve when the bass hits. But you have to be careful because sometimes it can just com be completely just not good. So I usually go around there, one on the start frequency and around 500 generally on my end frequency, but it really depends how bass heavy the song is. Uh, so you can see how I drag it around and it's kind of big and a little more zoomed in rather than the vault when it's both on like 2000. You can only see the base on one little corner over here and then everything else is just kind of blank. That's why you kind of want to do what I just did with bassy songs so you can really see the bass going in with the spectrum. And then frequency bands is another big one. You can see how the, the bars are kind of far apart and there's not too many of them. If you increase the number of bands, obviously, you get more bands. So, you can go all the way up to where it's almost it's a completely solid form. Uh, but that looks kind of terrible. So, 
I think I on this on the channel I generally go around like 100 or so. This is about 133. That looks good. So leave it at 133 maximum height. You can make it taller. I usually just kind of stay around 500 ish. Again, if it's more base heavy and then the spectrum is a bit higher, then you kind of want to reduce it a little bit. Audio duration and audio offset. I never adjust this because the one time I did try to adjust it, it just completely messed up this, the, the video. And then thickness, you can make the bars thicker, which doesn't really work. <laughs> and then softness, you can make them the bars softer. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. Then you can change the color, which is obviously the most important part. So there you go. You just change it around. There's an inside color and the outside color. I usually make the two colors the same because otherwise it looks kind of strange. Obviously that green does not go well with the uh, picture in the background, but I'm just giving an example. Uh, white actually looks pretty good for some things. I use, I think I use white and when it pops. Crap, I keep doing the wrong thing. Do do. There we go. So now it's all white. Looking pretty good. So yeah, that's basically the basics of that. And then from there, all you really have to do, unless you want to add an emblem, which you do by just dragging a picture into it like we do with the background. You just want to go, composition, add to render queue, and then render it in whatever video settings you want, and you are literally done. That's all it takes. Really simple, really easy, and a lot of fun to mess around with. So there you go. That's how to make an audio spectrum in Adobe After Effects. Thanks for watching. Uh, please check out our other content, and I'll see you guys later.